This is Carl at Nash Live E Detroit. I'm going to walk you through this 2024 Salem Villa. And it's a 40 RLB travel trailer. Actually, it's a destination trailer. Okay. So let me walk down here and we'll just, this is a how to video. So we're just going to walk around the trailer and I'll show you how some of the things work, okay? First of all, you have slide toppers on yours, which is uh, obviously a good thing. So we walk towards the, the door. You have uh, patio sliding doors. You have a power awning with LED strip. Outside speakers. You have the TV hookup, yeah, that's TV signal out and power. Of course, a door that goes into the bedroom. You come around the front, the, the windows are still sealed because it's going to be transported, so, but there are uh, large windows there. You have your uh, deep cycle marine battery, two LP tanks. Okay, some storage here. You got a dump hose and a reducer. Okay, here we have your uh, dump valves, so you have your black tank and two gray tanks. Um, you have your uh, city water hookup here, with the most common way to get water to the trailer. And then you also have a fresh water fill, in case you're, you're someplace that doesn't have city water, you can pre-fill your... Uh, fresh water tank and use the onboard pump to pump the water. Um, <clears throat> also, this is your black tank flush right here. So after you dump your black tank, if you leave the valve open like it is now, you can hook the hose up there, turn it on, it'll spray out your black tank and clean off the sensors really well. So it's a really good thing to do. Also, you have an on-demand water heater. I'll talk to you about that when we get inside. Uh, but you have on-demand, which is great, especially when you're using the shower. Um, <clears throat> and that white gate valve right there, that's for the, the fresh water tank. Okay. You have a 50 amp power cord. And we give you a reducer to reduce it down to a 30 and another one to go down to a 20 if you need to. Cable and satellite through. Make sure that the manufacturer states you should inspect your roof every 90 days. So make sure you inspect that roof. Make sure there's no damage up there or no separation where there could be leaking or anything like that it's part of your regular maintenance so let's go inside we'll go through the slider here okay all righty see what we've got the lights here i guess i should have found that before i came in huh but they're right over here uh you have a dimmer, you just rub your thumb over it. Wait a minute. <laughs> Let me see what else we got here. There we go. So that's the for the dimmer there. Okay. So right here, you have your awning switch here for your power awning. Never leave it out unattended if you're not going to be there. At, at the trailer, roll it in. You got your slide room switch here uh, and of course all your levels are right here they graduate in one third increments you have a water pump so right there that water pump is used to pump water out of the fresh water tank if you don't have city water it's also used to winterize the trailer your thermostat which is very simple you hit the mode button to light it up and then you just keep it in the mode button and it'll go through all the different um, different modes you look around here in the closet, this is your uh, uh, on-demand water heater control here. I don't know if he's got it, how he's got this, if it's plugged in or... Okay, so it's not yet, so I'll just have to talk you through it. Um, basically, if, if, there's no, if there's no water... Uh, supply it will not turn on so let's say when you're hooked up to city water and you go to a faucet and call for hot water it'll it'll start right away 
but if there's no if there's no water if there's no fresh water for example it's got a safety it won't it won't turn on same with the uh, uh, the onboard uh, tank if you if you fill your fresh water tank and you turn your pump on well then this will run when you call for water but if you've got that shut off it won't so it's there's a safety device for it okay uh, you set your temperature up and down here I think it's 115 I think is the common temperature you go from Celsius to Fahrenheit here so okay alrighty while we're standing here you've got a, a chiller here or commonly referred to as a refrigerator <laughs> and here is your it says like here your antifreeze inlet so he's got because it's been winterized he's got he's got your uh, uh, um, I'm just looking here yeah so it's got the hose to draw the antifreeze in and the water pump and the valve and everything is right there just so you know where it's at um, this is your packet with all your stuff in it your literature you have two um, remotes this small one is for the fireplace and this is for the sound here so we'll uh, head that way all kinds of ambient light here if you see me flipping them all on your range has a sparkler so these three are burners and this one is the oven and basically you're just going to turn this clockwise to spark it um, always travel with this shut okay never leave it open because it will it tends to get damaged okay your refrigerator is a let me look at it first here hold on yeah your refrigerator has a this thing here which when you're traveling if you screw it right in here you screw it in so that therefore the uh, I'm gonna, I can't put it in right start to put it in right now therefore the doors won't fly open and get dented um, so We'll pick up with that, or I'll pick up with it later. Okay. Um, TV goes here. Uh, your fireplace is right there. You can see I got the remote in my hand here. Right now it's kicking out heat. It's got a fan in it, so it it will. Uh, now it's on high, so it's really kicking them out. Um, you can change the color of your crystals. Uh, you could change the flame here so there's a lot that it does um, and you can shut it off right there so it's a really good space heater so those days where you don't quite need to use your furnace uh, you can just re use regular 110 AC to keep this um, area warm okay now the other remote goes to your sound bar the sound bar has FM radio no AM uh, it has a, a USB drive right here, so you can, you know, have all your albums on one USB stick or some or whatever you want to put on there. It has Bluetooth, so you can stream wirelessly from your phone or your tablet. This HDMI is an in, in case you want to go into it. If you have your TV up, for example, and you go, need to go into the system with a portable Blu-ray player, that's a typical application. You go right in there. You have two speaker zones, one and two. One is inside the trailer, two is outside the trailer. Okay, um, this is, let's see what we got here, this is a hide-a-bed, so you pull the cushions right off, set them aside, you'll grab it down here, fold it out, drop the legs, and it's a, a really nice um, hide-a-bed, it's not like the old ones, it's, that, it's, it's pretty, pretty comfortable, so that's good. Uh, then you have your two recliners here, here's your, your rip cords there, and there's one on this side too for the foot rest okay let's keep going here this is your carbon monoxide LP gas detector here it should always be green if it's not green get it serviced because it's obviously very important let me go a little farther here <coughs> bathroom sink and shower work like any other sink and shower we're still cleaning up here, it's uh, got antifreeze in it. 
Either that or there was a, a homicide. <laughs> no, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> sorry, I take that back. I'm sorry. Um, it's got antifreeze still in it that they haven't cleaned up. Um, the toilet is typical. It has a flush pedal. It sits right over a black tank. So you can't use it dry. So what you need to do is you, you, you when you get to the, your water and your power hooked up, you'll come in here, you'll put a dose of chemical right in the bowl. Then you would stand on the pedal long enough to put at least a gallon of water in the black tank along with the chemical, then it's ready to be used. If you don't do that, that's considered using it dry and it, it will get clogged up and it'll smell terrible. So you always want your chemical and water in there uh, when you, uh, before you start using it. In this storage here, I'm going to look in here to see if there's anything else I should know about. Nope. Uh, now you, your vent is all powered, including the lid. So you can see to open the vent and then the fan switch right here. You have a GFCI here. All the plugs in the trailer are wired through a GFCI, even the one on the outside. So um, let's say it pops outside using something, you're going to, still going to reset it at a, one of the GFCIs inside here. Alright, this is for your, your um, vacuum. So you got the, place, the, the spot where you hook up the attachments and then down at the bottom it's like a dustpan. You, you sweep it in front of it and you kick that, that, uh, that little lever. <laughs> what would you call it? That, you kick that thing here. Like that. I keep forgetting we're not plugged in here. And uh, it'll suck all the, all the dirt right in there. So Okay, so and there's your attachments right there for it. Okay, so this is the switch for your bed. Your bed, it obviously, is it, it's uh, tilts and, and moves into different positions. So you have that. You have TV hook up here. Uh, always keep this on. You can shut it off, but you always want that green, that green LED glowing that tells you your antenna is turned on. Um, this is telling us that we're, this. If you're interested, this is prep for a Wi-Fi signal booster. So you can, if you're interested in having better Wi-Fi, you can go to kingconnect.com and look at their, pre, their kits for pre-wired trailers. You'd want the one with the antenna on the roof because there's a spot to hook an antenna up on the roof too, pre-wired. And then the router, so antenna with a router. And uh, that's the best one they have, in my opinion. And uh, this is your, your um, power converter. So this converts 110 AC to 12 volt DC so you have 110 AC over up here when you're plugged in of course and all, all these circuit breakers are labeled then you have 12 volt DC fuses here and they're all labeled it's also a battery tender so it'll sense how much energy your battery needs as long as you're plugged in it'll keep your battery charged okay and then we have the usual stuff here Here's the shades and the second air conditioner here you have two air conditioners. Okay. Let's see here. So just let me walk around and see if I forgot anything here. I think we pretty much got it. Your microwave works like any other microwave, of course. One thing I like about these new drawers and stuff, the even these are self-closers, I think, yeah. And the other ones are have a really strong magnet, so they're not going to pop open on you. Yeah, really nice. Okay. All right, so I want to thank you for purchasing your trailer here at National RV Detroit. Um, please remember what I said about inspecting your roof. That's something that should be part of your regular maintenance. And right now this is winterized, as we saw in the bathroom. There's antifreeze in the system, and uh, it's all set for the winter. So... Um, obviously when you get ready to use it, you're going to have to dewinterize it, okay? Thank you very much.